as far as the eye can see. So who's in charge of all that airspace? Good evening, I'm Sally Scoop here for I'm Witless News, and we're talking to the person that's in charge of all that airspace. With me today is Jay Bailey. Tell me, Jay, what is it about your job that makes it exciting and interesting, telling all these planes where to go? It's moving them where they want to go. It's uh, getting uh, lots of people to where they want to go on their vacation. It's fun to see them take off, and away they go. So you're really like a traffic cop for all the airplanes? Yeah, we move the aircraft, we keep them separated, uh, get them on their way, move them as fast as they can get it, get going. That must be a tremendous sense of power to be able to tell a jumbo jet where to go. It is exciting. Uh, the power is in the jet itself taking off, but uh, no, we got, yeah, we tell them where they want to go. We don't, uh, we don't tell them where they don't want to go. Now, what about if you're having a bad day and you just don't feel like having the plane land here? Can you just tell them to go to Cleveland? Oh, no, no, not at all. Uh, that would not do well with the uh, with my boss or the airline. We'd soon get a call from the airline. Why is United 777 going to Cleveland when he wants to come to Milwaukee? Well, there's going to be a lot of upset passengers. But I thought you were in charge. No, I still have to answer to uh, the boss behind me who has a boss behind him and all the way on up the line, ultimately the flying public. Well, that's disappointing. Oh well, I guess with any job there are always higher ups to answer to. That's the story here from Mitchell International in Milwaukee. I'm Sally Scoop for I'm Witless News. Great.